everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Ilyancha and welcome back to another Apartments we build. It's been a while. I feel like I haven't built anything in The Sims for so long, which is insane because it's literally the only thing I used to do and it's what started my channel. I do still very much enjoy building. I've just been busy with other video ideas, but we are back with another apartment renovation. This is one of the smallest apartments in the entirety of San Myshuno and we're making... Oh, well, I mean, I don't really know what I'm gonna call this. It's like a tiny apartment. It's pretty modern. There's a lot of plants. I really like the, the like decoration, the style of decoration. Don't really know what I'm calling this, but the whole idea for this was to like utilize small spaces, spaces and like, I don't know how to make like the most out of small spaces. That's kind of what I was thinking of. I've always been very interested in like tiny living and all different types of storage options and you know, how to utilize a small space. So I wanted to do that in The Sims. I've done this a bunch of times before. I wish I'd come up with some new ideas um, how to do that, how to do that in The Sims. And I'm really happy with how this place turned out. It's gonna be an apartment for a single Sim or for a couple. There's just one bed room. It is a very, very small space. This is one of the apartments next to Penny's apartment. So this is in the fashion district and it's a really nice apartment. It only has the, it has a one negative lot trade, which I think is called lively neighbors, which means there's a lot of stuff going on and it's not the best place to live, but it does have really, really low rent, which would make it quite ideal for like someone new who's just moved into San Myshuno, but isn't like completely broke because I did do quite nice with the interior. It does have everything you would ever need. I'm using a lot of white and browns and then green from the plants. I really like that color scheme. I tend to go for it quite a lot, but it's one of my favorites. I think white and brown look so good together and we mostly have just pure white walls. I don't know, I felt like doing that. I think it might be a little bit Scandinavian, this whole type of decoration style, but I love that style anyway. And yeah, like I said, I'm doing a lot with different like storage options. There's a lot of cabinets and a lot of shelves and like different different places to keep your stuff since it's such a small space and you want to cramp all your stuff in here so you'll see you'll see but this is the kitchen slash dining room which is where you come in it has a half wall and oh my god I did not know we got that like divider you know how you make a half wall in the sims and then you can choose the color of the wood on top well you can also put like a different divider. We got two of them from Dine Out. I had no idea that we got one that looks like that from Sims 4 Get Famous. I've never used it before. The preview didn't show the glass. Like you can see they're dividing the room. The glass is so pretty and it looks super modern and I love it. And I was like, whoa, what is this? I was so excited when I found it. So I really like that. The kitchen is small, but it has your fridge, your um, dishwasher, stove. And I, th I think I put in a coffee machine. Uh, I did not have enough space for a microwave, but there's a lot of cabinets and then different shelves above the kitchen counters as well for you to keep your stuff in. And then um, another shelf there next to the dining table, which is actually like a bar table. It's a little bit higher, so you use bar stools to sit there. I think it's from dine out. I did use most of the packs in this build. I didn't want to limit myself. Um, and then the first room that we did was like kind of the, the room that you go through to go to that last room in this house. It's basically a pretty open floor plan. There's two entryways instead of doorways. So there's no doors apart from the bathroom. So the other room is going to be the bedroom slash living room. This one is kitchen slash dining. And then the middle tiny room is your office. That's where I put the computer table and then you have bookshelves on the other side again a lot of storage in that room but I really like it with the big windows I wish there was a window in here in the kitchen it's a little bit sad that there's like no light coming in from the outside but I thought it was more important for the bedroom to actually have like a lot of windows so that is this room that we're going to be doing now and I really like how it turned out I made this like 
big setup for the TV. That's pretty much the entire wall. Like there's a lot of storage. Again, I'm using two different bookshelves and this um, side table, long one, I forget what it's called, but it looks really nice. There's a big TV that you can watch from bed or from the couch that I put in here. And I put in two lounge chairs and then again, more shelves in here. You have your dresser, your nightstands, a lot of plants. I'm obsessed with plants and I really, really like how this turned out. I've actually been feeling a little bit uninspired lately. I don't know why. I mean, I've been making videos for like two and a half years now, I wanna say. So it's been a while. I've made like hundreds of videos on the channel and at the moment I'm feeling a little bit uninspired on what to post. I really am not a let's play person. I can never like come through with my let's plays. I just, I run out of like motivation to film them. Like, I don't know. I just, I can't tell a story as well as a lot of other people who have let's plays. Um, I do like them for a little while, but then I just get bored and I want to move on to something else. So, which is why I don't have a let's play going on at the moment. And which is why I haven't been posting the big sister challenge. It's just, let's plays just aren't me. I'm really sorry for all of you guys who've been waiting for the big sister challenge. I doubt it's coming back. It's just because I don't want to film something that I feel like I have to force myself to film. And then, I don't know. I really want to do, I am doing my high school uh, series. The whole Stranger Bill got in the way of like my, <laughs> I had like this whole thing going on where I was like really excited about it. And then Stranger Bill came out and it got in the way. And then I went to England. These all sound like excuses, but I am continuing the Machinima series. That is something I really, really enjoy. But apart from that, I'm really uninspired on what to post on the channel. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I've done everything. I don't want to redo the same stuff and I want to do something different and not just, you know, do the same thing for two years. So that's why there have been a lot less videos and I don't really know what to film most days. But if you guys have like any ideas, anything new or what you have enjoyed seeing most on the channel, I would love to know in the comments down below. That would be so, so helpful and useful for me to know what you guys actually enjoy watching the most because I love criticisms, I love lookbooks, I love to go CC shopping, I like building too. I haven't been doing a lot of house builds recently, I don't know, I think I've, I'm not good enough, Um, but I like doing apartments and then I like doing lots of videos, but I'm not sure what you guys want to see and I do think YouTube is messing my channel up a little bit with the algorithms, but I'm definitely... I'm gonna I'm gonna come back strong. I know it. I just need a little bit of time to figure out what it is exactly that I want to be posting on the channel, what I want to be putting my time into because I definitely don't want to feel like I'm forcing myself to just make any video. That's not really the quality that I want for my channel or for myself. I want to be excited and proud of the videos that I'm posting and I want to be excited to film and motivated and be like, oh my god, this is the best idea ever. I haven't felt like that in so long. So hopefully I'm going to get all my stuff together soon and figure out what it is I'm doing. Um, I want to focus on the Machinima series, but I don't know how my channel will do if I only post like one video a week. So... I don't know. It's been it's been a bit of a struggle recently, but I I will come back. I promise. <laughs> I really do enjoy making videos still, and definitely not stopping that anytime soon. But yeah, if you guys have like any like tips for me, what to do, and any t specific videos that you really have enjoyed on the channel, please let me know, and I will continue to make those because I want to make what you guys like to watch. But this is the bathroom, which is pretty big and again has a lot of storage. Really like it, and that is the build done. I really do like how it turned out. It's really small, but it doesn't feel that small. And there's a lot of storage. There's a lot of space to put your stuff in, and I do like the open floor plan as well I feel like it just that's why it seems so spacious and bigger than it actually is because I don't know it's just like all one room but yeah this will be in the gallery if you want to download it you can find it under my username which is Eliandra YD or under the hashtag Eliandra and of, of course as always it is completely custom content free give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're new here and let me know what videos you want to see in the future thanks for watching and bye Bye.
This